where the arrow lands. Living in rural Alaska gives you a unique perspective on life. Whenever you're faced with a challenge, if you'll get quiet and reflect back on your years in the last frontier, you'll hear with that still small voice the solution. Summers for my brother, cousins, and I were times of great adventure. Living at the edge of our grandparents' estate of over 150 acres, we had the world to ourselves. If you were a neighbor of ours, you were related to us. My father is an avid outdoorsman and hunter. He never got just one gun. He got us all a gun. Or, as in the case of this particular summer, compound bows and arrows. Archery is a skill. Perhaps, when well-practiced, it really ought to fall under the heading of art. I enjoyed pulling back on the string with an arrow carefully notched and then letting go. That is not to say that the arrow always or very often hit its intended target. And sometimes, if you're not careful, in letting go of the string, you can smack your forearm and that's painful. It's in the letting go that you grow. You gain skill not by holding on in fear of missing your target or avoiding pain. Rather, skill and contentment arrive by letting go over and over again. There will sometimes be pain in letting go. But imagine the frontier family waiting at home for dinner. And the hunter is out in the field, letting all of the game and wildlife wander by while his arrow remains firmly notched in fear that he'll miss his intended target. Let go. If I don't do anything else today, I'm gonna take a walk up by the creek and have him sing his song to me. I will find a shaded sunny spot I pull out my guitar And sing a simple song for you and me Something like Like this and it goes through. 